In this video, Pete tells us a fairy tale story. A fairy tale story. It's a great story. And I get annoyed with a couple of scooters. Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Costa Car Trader. Uh, it's Pete's turn to bring us a car today. Not sure what he's coming with, and he's about to arrive any moment now. I think that's him. Hello, mate. Amigo, hola. How's it going? How are you today? Good, good. Electric handbrake. It's my first car ever with an electric handbrake, so I just figured it out. It's now okay. I like the noise it makes. <laughs> <laughs> It's a Citroen C4. Nice. Now back in the day with the Citroen C4, it didn't do anything for me, no emotions. This is the newest model. Uh, you can actually get this electric, if you're into that. You can get this in diesel, if you want an economic car. Now this is the petrol version. Right. And it's got a turbo on it. So even though it's a little petrol engine with only three cylinders. Three cylinders, you Three kidding? cylinders, yeah. But it, it goes, it goes, it just goes fast. It's a very powerful car. You get the torque in the low revs already. I mean, they're so sophisticated now, these turbos and these little engines. Don't forget in the Formula One, you're talking a 1.6 engine. Yeah. I know they got some electric bits on there, but you're talking just under a thousand horsepowers. So that's where we got to. And these French people that build these cars, you know, they haven't been sleeping in the last 20 years. No, the cars have come on a lot. Do you remember back in the day, like in the 17s, when all these Austin Maestro, Morris Marina owners <laughs> were calling the French cars how bad they were. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. And they were owning a, you know, a Morris Marina, uh, which was falling apart after yeah. three years, in case you didn't know. But I think you know. Oh, it. yeah, I've experienced that. You've I, experienced I, it. I had a, a, few, um, a few of those cars, and well, they're, they're like the clown cars. They just fall apart. The doors come yeah, off. Yeah. Circus cars. Rot. Circus cars. Circus cars. Yeah, That's and it. clowns That's drive them. <laughs> you calling me a clown? <laughs> so, what you're getting now, you think you're buying a regular family car, which of course it is a regular family car, but it's 2024 now. Yeah. So, everything that used to be on the most expensive Mercedes, BMW, Aston Martin, Bentley, Double R, Rolls Royce, you get that now on these normal cars. Yeah. It's got a heads up display, it's got a beautiful automatic system, it's got the full function steering wheel. And just look at the wheels. This is a family I love car. The wheels. That's 18-inch wheels. Are wheels. Beautiful. I and love you the know, color on them as well. It, yeah. It matches the red. It's yeah, but it makes it look like you know, like good, like here I come. The thing is, you know, what they do in France, they give you Michelin tires. Don't you love that to have yeah. Michelin tires on your car? High quality tires. Always going to be safe with that. It's got disc brakes all around. You know, you don't find that all the time. Many people still get uh, drums on the back. Yeah, you know, which it works. And this particular one is actually up for sale uh, in Benny Hover. Is that our friend John again? It's our mate John. Yeah. Hello, John. <laughs> John, how are you, man? Beautiful car. Thank you for letting us drive it and promote the car. You know, I'm looking at this car, and I'm I'm struggling to how to classify it. It's not it's not your everyday car. It's not an SUV. No. It's not quite a crossback, it's, yeah. it's not quite a hatchback. Well, the what thing is, you know, is before this? with the C4s, they used to do a Picasso. Uh, they used to do like a sporty model. And then your normal sort of hatchback, if you, you know, if you can yeah. still call it that. And what I noticed with this car, it looks very sporty. It does look sporty. It feels sporty. The it's steering, there's nothing like this steering. It's so, when you're actually not moving, it's so light. And when you're moving, the steering seems to adjust. So it's just, you get a good feel of the road. And I was a bit worried about, the, you know, if you can look at a small rear window. But then, of course, nowadays you get reverse camera. Of course. So you're not super bothered about this small rear window anymore. Is it, is it 360 camera or just well, reverse? Well, I noticed when you put it in reverse, you get two pictures up. So you get the whole back view with red and green lines and sound. Beep, 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 you know. Yeah. And then there's like as if there's a drone following you. You see the car from above as well. Now, how they do that, I don't know, <laughs> but they did it, you know? I think they've got little cameras hiding in the, the side mirrors. 
don't know how they did it, but it's amazing. You just look at your screen. You don't, you know, you don't have to break your neck. You know, Saturday morning turning the neck, it's always a bit heavier than, you know, like on a Monday morning. And um, get you a all over view everywhere. So no problem parking for anybody. Even the clowns that used to drive these <laughs> Morris Marinas and what was the other one? An Austin Allegro? <laughs> yeah, Austin Allegro, Morris Minor. Morris Minor, yeah. Minis yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. You got this lovely beautiful spoiler. I know, that's beautiful. And that comes standard, that spoiler. That is all standard, man. I mean, wow. it's great. Hmm. The petrol door. Have you seen yeah. the size of it? So Look I don't have it. to find it today. No, it's an easy find for once. <laughs> Look at it. I wonder if it's this size because they can easily convert it for electric charging. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but it's a huge door, isn't it? It is. It's almost it is, as big as the, the passenger door. Yeah. And then here, when you look in the boot, opens up like that. Oh, by the way, it comes with a comfort mode key, yeah? So you just have this key with you. And right. when you walk away, the car is locked. And when you come close, the car is all open. You can start it, drive it. Um, quite a decent boot. Not the biggest boot of its price range, but it yeah. is very, very good. And, um, and you can make it bigger though. Same as the DS, you get extra space. I'm noticing these little side pockets here. These, these are quite handy, these. I like these. Always handy because you get stuff moving around normally. You know, you need to bring something or whatever. You, small things, you can put them here and it's not moving around. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. So it is still a little bonus that, you know, it's not uh, guaranteed to get that in any car. There's the reverse camera, by the way. And this is real Citroën. It's yeah. not a DS, this is still the Citroen. Have a little look here in the back. Welcome. Big back seat, you've got separate air conditioning in the back, you know, for the people. And uh, it's beautiful big size. And they made it... They made it so it's super comfortable. And as you can see, it's half leather, half cloth. And uh, you just click the button here, it comes forward. And then you can put your skis in there if you're going to Sierra Nevada. You're going to Switzerland, wherever you're going, this car will take you there and it will bring all the stuff that you want to bring there safely. All right then, Pete, tell me about the, the interior on this thing. Okay, so first of all, you got a start-stop key. So, you know, with most cars nowadays, the key is in your pocket. You press the brake. We got a uh, automatic gearbox here, yeah? That's very important. Got an automatic gearbox, which is all electronic. And we got an electronic handbrake, which is on right now, as you can see. It's pull or push. Yeah. So, great, simple, no force needed. You know, with the old handbrake, like... Yeah. And uh, here's the start-stop button. Press the brake. Keep it pressed. And then everything comes on. Air conditioning on straight away. Climate control. Uh, and we got a HUD. Ooh. A HUD. A heads-up display. Cool. And like I said, man, Mercedes, BMW, uh, Rolls Royce, Bentley, these cars used to have that like 10 years ago. Now, Citroën decided to put that in their cars. You get a lot of info on the display, which is really, really great. You get uh, USB, you get USB-C, you know, ready for the future. Yeah. Charge your phone, play music, whatever you want to do. Obviously, you can connect to the multimedia system with the uh, Bluetooth on your phone. And uh, you get the HUD is here, the heads up display. Uh, if you don't like it, you can always switch that off, of course, in the uh, menu system. And here is your, you know, your normal display speedometer and all that. See if your lights are on. And actually, it is an automatic car, but it does have these, you know, flappy pedals, as we call them. There is a drive mode as well. You know, you can drive economic, you can drive sporty. It's all to your own preference. But this car will always be an economic car because I tell you what, man, it has only a 1.2 engine, wow. petrol, three cylinders. Yeah, it's crazy. And it's got, of course, turbo on it, which makes it a very economic but fast, nice feeling car. Like I said, this power steering is like no other car. We're standing still and this is so light. So this is adjusting itself for yeah. standing still driving on the highway. It's not that light. So I love that system myself because, you know, with the parking look, I mean, look, <laughs> it's great, <laughs> isn't it? I know we like the classic cars, but, you know, this is also... Uh, it's so easy to drive. Ah, oh, man, it's it? so easy. Man, now look at what these French people did for us, man. Look, you got the secret compartment here. Very secret, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now we don't need secret compartments, but you never know. Somebody might yeah, need so it. Some and people might. It's <laughs> there. Everything on the display is basically on your steering wheel, so you don't have to take your hands off the steering wheel, which is pretty important. You know, safety. This, that, and the other. And you got the 12 volt here. 
hidden cup holders. Don't have to see them all the time. Oh, you love cup holders, don't oh, you? Oh, they're so important, man. I always like to have my coffee on my tree. <laughs> you know? But you can close that down. That's pretty cool. And that you then, can close you know, it. because it's an automatic, normally you drive it quite relaxed. You put this forward and you're just leaning on that, mate. It's nice and soft, this. So yeah, that's wonderful. I mean, yeah. that this you're going to use that. Oh, yeah, of You're course. You're going to use that, you know. Some people don't even know this moves. Especially but you just move it forward and you just like that. I'm looking now, this has got three glove compartments here. Oh man, check that out, check that out. You're gonna love that, man. It's I mean, so which car does big. have three glove compartments? It. It's like a holy trinity. I can't even reach the bottom of it. Chris, it's a holy trinity. You're gonna use all these three compartments, trust me, because look at this. Now, I know you, you work online a lot and you're a multimedia kind of guy, yeah? So first of all, look at that, what's that? It's like a secret, yeah. secret Here, Look, area. here's your tablet, mate. Oh, wow. There's your tablet. Wow. Yeah. So you, your wife can drive, or your fiance, or your girlfriend, or you know, whoever, and you can be working. Now close this up and, okay, just, just open this. Okay. Yeah. All right, mate. Now, now what do you think that is? Uh, well, I presume <laughs> this connects onto there somehow. Yeah, try it. See if you can do that with one hand. Yeah, hold on the camera. I can't do it one-handed. You did it. Okay, he's in. It's a one-hand job, in. mate. One hand. <laughs> 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 so then you can uh, you can get the. Now I've never seen that before. You? No, no. It's 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 fixed. There. It's not going to fall. It's fixed. If if you slam your brakes on or yeah. or whatever, it's not going to go anywhere. And it's it, pretty cool. It does turn a one, two, three screen car into a one, two, three quattro four four screens. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That beats Bentley any day of the week, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, obviously, you know, you can do your thing there and it, it's there, you know, you're gonna use it. It's there, you're gonna use it. They thought about that really, really, really well, you know? Yeah. What I also like about this one, uh, with the seatbelt system, normally there's all sorts of lies and things going off, but here you got a little display. Oh, yeah. And then look, when I, when I put my seatbelt on, you just have a look, yeah? Bam, seatbelt on. Okay, so you can... You can check whether your passengers actually have the seatbelt on that's without yep. physically looking. Yeah, there's no more lying. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. And I think the next thing is to take this thing for a ride and then uh, get our thoughts on that. Okay, let's do it. See what we think, see how it feels. It is very smooth. Best way to describe it. Smooth. It's very quiet. I think the cabin is very well isolated. The aircon works a treat. Look where you're going, you fool. Crazy drivers on the road. Oh man. I love this heads up display. You like that, yeah? It, I do you've like never it. had a car with one. It's no, the first, it's the first time, time you've time. ever had a, a, a HUD. It, it kind of feels like it's far away. It's weird, Space. like you can't grab it, it's ungrabbable. Yeah, it's like it's so far away. It's <laughs> like but it's, it's there. It's like it's on the end of the bonnet. What, what info does it actually give you, Chris? So the heads up display shows you speedo. It also shows you the speed limit of the road. That's and nice. It shows you your, your fuel. And I'm sure if there is a warning or anything, then it will also come on, uh, on up on the um, you know on the heads-up display. And yeah. Uh, so I noticed this car has got cruise control, which you know some people never use it. I, I like to use it because when you do a road trip, put on cruise control, 120, 130 clicks an hour. Well, 130 can be legal in some roads. You know what I mean? But it does keep a nice flow going. Do you ever use cruise control, Chris, on any of your cars? No, not really. You, unless you're on an empty road, I don't find it very useful because... You, uh, highway. You, For yeah. me, it's all highway stuff. Yeah, you go on the highway and then you always get people hugging the middle lane or, or going slow and, and then you've got to keep turning it on yeah. and off, on and off. And I find that a little bit annoying. Yeah, you know the trick what you got to do is, Chris? Blast your horn. No, use <laughs> toll roads. Nobody ever uses them because it's too expensive and <laughs> you can drive... Yeah. All day long on the cruise control because it's quiet. So this uh, this particular Citroen, it's it's called an Eat Eight. Okay. E A T eight, and I, I think that's for the the gearbox, and I'm presuming it's electronic automatic transmission, and the eight stands for how many gears it has. It's an eight speed. Could be an eight speed. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing, man. 
because you know the more gears it has, the, the 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 better it is with acceleration and all that kind of stuff. Just, Economics. Just, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, this is this look, is look, always good fun. Yeah. To me, isn't it? Yeah. Now I think you know everybody should allow. To, oh look, he's got a sign on the back. Stay away one and a half meters. He thinks he's still in lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> they they want you to stay to one and a half meters, but they pull out in front of you. Shouldn't they give us one and a half meters as well? They should do. But they're making all new laws for these moped scooters. We'll probably do a review on one of them one day. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we'll, we'll tell you what it's all about. But uh, I don't want to, you know, be a bad guy or discriminate. But to have these really old people on these mopeds on the roads, it, I think it's dangerous, man. And children. Well, yeah, that's only my personal opinion. Anybody can have their own thoughts on it. Uh, we're allowed to share that. Uh, the, I'm seeing a lot of different dangerous situations, you know, driving the car and then they're on the roundabout, they're left, right, here, center, you can't hear them. What's going on here, man? Oh, this guy's something in his foot. <laughs> I'm sure this C4 has a first aid kit. We could have helped in helping this guy, Chris. You hardly feel the road, it's like... No, but it's it nice. feels like a very expensive car to drive, to be totally honest or not. Yeah, it does feel expensive. You know, C4s were, were never like... An expensive luxury car. You know, they were good cars and everything, but they were never that. But this does feel like it's 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 sort of going into that area of luxury. Exactly, man. And you know what it is? Uh Citroën, yeah. It's it's almost a a fairy tale story. It's a great story. Because as we said before, 20 years ago, 30, maybe 40 years ago even. I mean it's what 2024 20, now. People were a little bit neglecting the Citroën cars, yeah? yeah? I mean, there were some beautiful models, don't forget the, you know, the DS. And then you had the CX, you know, the, I think it was the, the President model or something, which is actually worth quite a bit of money now. And they had the special suspension, yeah? But they did have a bit of a reputation. Now yeah. this whole reputation, they turned it around so great, it's probably one of the greatest stories in automotive history. Because what I'm gonna tell you now, Chris, and. This is a true story. Okay, I like true stories. Yeah, it's it's special. So, it's now 2024, yeah, as I just said. Yeah. 2023, according to the magazine and website and uh, multimedia company called uh, Car Express UK, you, you might know them, or uh, yeah. Auto Express, sorry. Yeah. It's the Auto Express. Uh, they did a survey, so it's not just uh, you know one or two guys driving a car and saying which is the best, which is the worst. They did a survey, thousands of people, this is 2023, and this car, the Citroën C4, came out as the car of the year, people. And this is a true wow. story. And why was it the car of the year? To just mention a couple of things, yeah? Top three, safety, Citroën C4. Top five, child-friendly, Citroën C4. Top three, uh, low in maintenance fee. Top three, economic. Top four, styling. And many, many other things, which made this car into the top model of like, what would you call these cars? Um, the category is hard to, to say it. It's a bit of a mixture of everything, isn't it? It is, man, it is. But, um, so make no mistakes. The old reputation from Citroën might have never been true, I don't know. Yeah. We didn't have internet back then. People tell stories and other people believe it. Now you can check everything on Google. But when you ever Google this car, yeah? <laughs> now listen to this. Okay. Don't just type in C4, don't do that. You have to type in Citroen C4. <laughs> because when you just <laughs> type in C4, you get some weird stuff on the internet. So it's a Citroen C4. Do the research, check me if what I'm saying is true. All right, let's... Uh, let's Put the foot down and see what this thing does now. Here we go off the roundabout going on to the straight. We are near the, near the salt lakes in uh, Costa Blanca South. And here we go. Oh my god, these headrests are really big, man. Nice. It's quick. Cons You're not breaking any laws, Chris, no? No, I One don't. of our mates just got a fine yesterday. He put it all over Facebook. He, he had two fines for speeding. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. Here we go, sport mode. Come on, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that pulls. You wouldn't think this is only three cylinders, I would know, you? Oh a three God. cylinder, it's crazy. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't scare me. Don't get me wrong, it's hard to scare me, but it's fast. It's definitely fast. And I like to have that 
little extra reserve in speed because overtaking it's best to do that as quick as you can yeah it's funny this has got a three cylinder a 1.2 engine in it and it, it's got it's, it's faster got, than it's your fast, Nissan <laughs> and, and, and then uh, you have a seven liter continental Lincoln seven and a half liters thank you very much big Se block seven and a half and it probably won't go as fast as this <laughs> no <laughs> it's crazy how they can get so much power out of something so small yeah well everything has its charms Chris everything has its charms so what you were saying about the C4 you gotta be careful if you go searching C4 without the Citroen because you may end up getting the police knocking on your door. Uh, Why are you searching for bombs? When um, you know our good friend John told us about the C4, I was googling it to get some info on it, and yeah, well, <laughs> you got to put in Citroen C4. Hey, but look what beautiful! There's the moon, man. Wow, there's the moon in the daytime. It's a beautiful day today. Beautiful. It's all blue. There's no clouds. I think you're enjoying this car, Chris. This is the I longest am. drive you've ever done in a car. So you're secretly <laughs> a secret admirer of the C4, aren't you? I'm tempted not to give this car back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can keep it if you if you pay John. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> sure John would, uh, would would love me to buy this. I don't know if he accepts like you know crypto and that kind of stuff. He might do, and then you might be in for a good deal, mate. Would he would he accept a lot of Neva? <laughs> in part exchange <laughs> but you know if you aren't interested in the Citroen then this is available at Citroen Benny Hoffa and our man John will look after you if you go there and ask for him but there's other people at Citroen who are also very good as well uh, Elsa I was there the other day asking about number plates and everything and she was really really helpful so I, I think everybody at Citroen are pretty good people I'm, I'm just going to point something out here, which I noticed. It's a, it's a feature which is kind of cool. So this car is getting a little bit low on fuel now. And they don't just give you a warning like showing on your fuel gauge. It actually comes up on the screen, all the local petrol stations telling oh. you where to go and get fuel. Oh man, I wish they had that 15 years ago when I was on a daily base without fuel. <laughs> you know? People you always say, you know, you're very, um, you know, like um, what they call it. Um, <laughs> Tight. You're very tight with the money. Yeah. I said, listen, man, that might be true, but if you have an empty tank, for sure your car is going to be faster. Yeah. It's all in the weight, isn't it? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and but back uh, years and years ago, I used to run out of fuel, and it's not like today. You didn't have mobile phones or nothing like that. So if you run out of fuel on the side of the road, you're kind of screwed. Yeah. I, yeah. did, I used to. They I had jerry cans though back in the day. They did have them. But if you're miles away from a petrol station, <laughs> you used to have to like hitch a ride. Oh, uh, I know. I, I can tell you stories about that, you know. But anyway, I, I won't go into that. No, that's for a different video. Yeah, that's for another video. Hey, Chris, and now I've never seen a three cylinder engine in my life. I know this is all like new stuff to me. I love V8s, as you know. Um, so this is this is what it looks like nowadays, it, yeah, yeah, under the bonnet. Let, let me take this cover off here so you can have a, a proper look. There we go, just uh, put him up there out of the way. So, so there you go, like you got your three cylinders, that's it. Ah, yeah, that's it, yeah. It's a, it's a very small engine, and you've got your turbo down here. Cool. This, look at it, it's brand new. This, this car's 2022, it's almost new. Yeah, it's almost new, man. It's really, really, like, as new. It is. It's hard to believe it, because it's quite a dusty area, you know, here in Spain, but this car is just as it rolled off the line. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit more about this car being an award winner, you know, because to me it's special. You know, yeah. the cars they're making nowadays, they're not making any more bad cars. So the competition is always going to be stiff. But this car won the award, didn't just win the award, it had like six top ten placings, which wow. apparently never happened before. Now don't forget what I told you before, this is a people survey. These are real people voting on their driving experiences. Yeah. Number one, smoothness. Number one, reliability and in the top three or something it was also uh, the surface costs are low so it must be a really great car i know we only had it for a week or a couple of days i know i know you enjoyed it it was the longest test drive we ever had <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah and uh, and you like the buttons don't you economic sport economic sport i yeah. mean i love that as well but yeah for me it would need a you not need a button just put in sport but yeah this award winning and you know there was only one negative point about this car you can read this all up on the internet by the way uh you know google the car but don't just type in c4 yeah, citroen yeah c4. otherwise you might get a ching 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 at the door <laughs> um 
People were complaining. One thing, yeah? Go on, what now, there have been award-winning cars before, and they had five, six, seven things that people still complain about, but they won the award. This car, one thing, and you know what it is? They say, ah, the touchscreen is not super sensitive. We like a sensitive touchscreen. That was the only thing that it came like 30th or something. The rest is all top 10, top 20, which made this car an award-winning car, but like head and shoulder kind of stuff. You know what I mean? All the other cars, Focus, Golf, you know, all these cars, they, they dropped down and this is on the podium, number one. So that is good to know. It is a good car, I really like it. Yeah, and they, and they don't win awards for nothing, you know what I mean? So if you buy this car or a C4, it's the electric one, the diesel one, this is the petrol version, which for us is the favorite, I would say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Award-winning car 2023, look it up, Auto Express, voted by thousands of people, and you can see all the categories where this car came a winner or in the top five. And I think for a potential buyer, it can mean a lot that you know that you're buying quality. Yeah, for sure. I just wanted to keep driving this thing. I didn't want to come back. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice car. I, I would probably vote for this as well, to be honest. I've yeah. driven a few cars this yeah. year, and this is probably one of my favorites so far. Yeah. I mean, the styling must be... I've, I've, I don't know that. I didn't read it, but for me, the styling would be top three as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, the back of the car, the lights, the big alloy wheels, factory, eh? 18-inch Michelin tires. It's so futuristic. I love it. It's super... But... Citroen has always been a bit futuristic though, remember? Yeah. But uh, they, they keep that going, but the bad thing of the reputation from the past, that's out of the window now, they're winning prizes now. They won it last year, they're probably gonna win it this year as well again. Yeah, quite possible. Okay, we're at that point now where we're gonna give you two things we like and one thing we don't like. So, do you wanna start? Two things. Two things you like, one thing you don't. I'm well, talking about two things. I didn't tell anybody yet, but listen to this man. This car, it doesn't only look sporty, it has two exhausts, which is the first thing that I like about this car. One exhaust, double exhaust. That's cool. So I think that's really, really cool, man. A, a, lot, of, uh, a lot of new cars, they actually have fake exhausts, but this is, this is the actual exhaust. Real exhausts. Real exhausts, not yeah. fake. So Citroën done a great job there. Yeah. They didn't win the award for nothing. You know, the competition was really, really hard. Yeah. And they were head and shoulders, man. And it's not its not just saying that. Head and shoulders? Well, it's dandruff on the car. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you had dandruff. Um, what I also like is the Parktronic all around the car. It's got the back. It's got the side. It's got the camera. You're just never going to crash this car. Yeah. So those are the two things I like about this car. Now you do what you want to know. The one thing that I don't really like about this car. Do you want to know then. it? Go on then. I know it's sad, but it's got no ashtray. So I'm just into the older cars with ashtrays. If you had a red, everybody I know smokes. So I need the ashtray in the car. But if you're a rebel, you could just use your cup holders ah, and clean them out. Getting rebellious now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Le got, rebel, le rebel in French. <laughs> you got two cup holders, ashtray, coffee. Okay, well then I have nothing that I don't like about this car. There's only stuff that I like. Excellent. What about you? Okay, amigo. First thing that I like about this is the heads-up display. I, I love knew it. You, I, knew you I love it. It yeah. comes up and it shows your speed. Yeah. You know, I, I would prefer to have some crosshairs in there, and then you could put the car in front in your crosshairs and pretend you're going to blow the bastard up <laughs> with your C4. <laughs> it's true. It's damn true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you get a lot of info on the display. It doesn't distract you, and you're always looking there, so you're always going to see it. Yeah. I love it. I had it on other cars, but yeah. It's the, they, first, it's the first time I've seen it. They were 100,000 euro cars. I didn't buy them new, you know. This is not an expensive car, but you get all the expensive extras. Yeah. Factory. You don't have to order it. You don't have to fill in no list. It's in there. Yeah. I understand you like that bit, man. Yeah. yeah it was I almost like it. my, one of my two things as well. The hut, they call it, don't they? Heads up display. Any more, Chris? Yeah. Uh, next thing, I'll go to what I don't like about it which is, this has a keyless entry. Now, you don't have to take your key out of your pocket. You, you can just leave it in your pocket and you walk up to it and you can open it. It'll automatically open all the doors and everything, which is great, great idea. But the annoying thing is, if you happen to be stood next to the car for a period of time, the car will just keep locking and unlocking and locking and unlocking. And it's kind of a little bit annoying. Yeah. So that is my negative about this, but you can actually turn it off. So if that does annoy you, back him off. Okay, so the, the, the last thing that 
I like about this car is the style. It's so futuristic, it's so beautiful, it's like a work of art. So you, you could just sit there and look at it for hours and you, you, you notice new details and everything. I, I, I love it, it's, it's a beautiful car, it really is. But if you are interested in this car, to go along to Citroen Benihoffa and speak to John or Elsa, you know, they're all good people there. And if you mention our name, Costa Car Trader or C C, C T and uh, John is willing to do you a good deal on this. Um, we'll put the details in the description and we'll also put a link to this actual car in the description and you can find out more. So I wish they did awards for car dealers, you know, because I'm sure John and his garage there, they would win the award this year. Yeah, and I wish they would do awards for presenters like us, because I'm <laughs> sure we would win something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's a wrap then, Chris. That's a wrap. Do you like the car all in all, you know, overall? I love the car. And uh, John, uh, we're keeping this one. I, I'm not going to bring it back. Sorry, mate. <laughs> not going to bring it back. No, this is ours now. <laughs> That's yeah. a wrap, people. Thank yeah. you for watching. Sus subscribe to the channel. And share. Share this share video. The channel. If you think someone might enjoy watching this video, share it with them. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.